Internet, Eric here. Well, it's Slashback Saturday again. Um, if you're new to my channel or new to that concept, um, Slashback Saturday is a concept created um, by Joe, my buddy over on the uh, on the Horror Man YouTube channel. And what it is is every Saturday, he's a he's a huge horror fan. Uh, specifically, it seems like the slasher genre. And what it is is every Saturday he picks a specific category or a specific theme uh, that he's created. And what it is is you find a slasher movie that fits into that specific category and talk about it. Um, this week's uh, category was called Twisted Slashers. And this one is a lot of fun. Um, the only requirement was to discuss a slasher movie that had a twist in it, a, a, a certain twist in it. And um, he made sure to be specific in saying not to spoil said twist. Um, and uh, the one I picked for, a lot of people were going with like the e the typical one, like April Fool's Day, which Joe did himself. I haven't watched that one yet. Um, I've seen the movie. I haven't watched uh, his review yet over on his channel. But um, I didn't want to do that. I was going to because I haven't seen that movie in decades. But I'm like, you know what? I could do that. I could do Saw, which I don't know if Saw is technically a slasher. If you think about it, it's more, uh, uh, you know, guys are being stuck in traps type of thing. Um, so I went, I saw this in my DVD collection. I haven't watched it in a long, long time. Um, high Tension. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I discuss plot spoilers, specific scenes, what have you. This came in two th out in 2003. Um, directed by Alexandra Aja, one of my favorite horror directors. He's also directed um, lots of remakes. The Hills Have Eyes remake, the Piranha remake. Or Piranha 3D. Um, he directed, uh, what else? The Mirrors remake with Kiefer Sutherland. And then some non-remakes as well. Horns, which I thought was great. Um, haven't seen Crawl yet. But I believe this is his first one. The plot is we are following Marie and um, Alex. Who, it, it, this is a French film. Because Alex, uh, Alexandra is French. Um, there are English subtitles in this. Anyways. We're following Marie and um, Alex. Uh, they are going to Alex's uh, family's home um, to study. And what happens is a, uh, a killer breaks into the home, kills all of uh, Alex's family, takes her hostage, and then the rest of the movie is Marie trying to rescue Alex from the killer. Um, man, this one's really good. A lot of fun. Um... Uh, Marie is played by uh, Cecile de France. I'm going to butcher names, but I've only known her from this, and she's in that funny uh, Jackie Chan movie, his version of Around the World in 80 Days. Um, really, really like her performance here. She's really good um, facially when she's supposed to be scared, when she's supposed to be tough. Um, her performance, you know, not just visually, is really, really great, really strong. Um... She's put through the ringer in this one with her injury. She by the end of the movie, she is just covered in her own blood, and uh, really, really good. Um, I buy the scenes where she's afraid when she's hiding, and you know the whole she's watching the scenes unfold, um, you know, trying to cover her mouth so she doesn't make a sound. Um, super, very, very pretty to look at too, and that's what's great is I think she's super pretty. And she's also shows how tough, and this actress, uh, Cecile de France, is not afraid to get down and dirty. And um, that just adds to the character. I really like her. Um, Alex is played by Mai Wen, or Mawen, I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, she's just there. You know, she's the, 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 the victim, the, the kidnapped victim, what have you. Really good playing scared, really good being worried. Um, that's about it. Um, but it's good for what it is and the other the only other character to, to mention is the the serial killer or the killer in general and he is played by does it say philippe nahan whatever terrifying he's this really big dude in, in in coveralls he probably looks like a stereotypical truck driver he drives a big fucking truck it looks like it's like right out of um jeepers creepers to me brutal not a lot of dialogue. It's all body language. He uses a straight razor for his, for his uh, his weapon. Creepy when he's mocking Alex. There's a scene where um, where he's mocking uh, you know the girls 
with a, a fucking concrete saw and they're screaming. He mocks them with, with the scream and just a look of crazy in his eyes. Um, really good, really intimidating, like I said. Uh, so good. Um, the gore in this. This is the unrated cut. So I don't remember um, what is cut out or how it's edited in theatrical, but in this version, holy shit. We have a decapitation with, um, I don't know if it's with a wardrobe or just a... Um, you know, a dresser that you put your clothes in, but we have um, the father of the family. His head is literally put through a banister, you know, walking down the stairs. You can't, his face is shoved through, slowly through the banister. And then the way Aja cuts it, you see the boot of the killer. Boom. Like, come down, you hear a thump on the back of his head. So his head goes through the bars, and then the, the, the wardrobe or the dresser is pushed against the head, and we got an overhead shot of the it being torn off and the blood going everywhere we have a throat slit with a straight razor and you just get the whoosh noise and then it cuts to uh marie she's hiding in the, in the closet and you know she's looking through like um the little slits through the closet uh door and you see the mom standing and then suddenly her neck turn her like her her head falls back and the wound opens up oof gory and we get some more we get you know the way Marie looks by the end of the movie, covered in blood. We have an axe to the chest, which isn't just a usual axe to the chest. It's to the chest, and then it's twisted when it's in the wound. And you hear some sound effects. We get, um, eventually the killer gets a hold of a concrete saw. And some dude gets that in the chest. That's gory as fuck. Um, by the end of that scene, uh, my wen is just covered and blood and it's really cool when that victim gets it in the chest there's um the uh the squibs or not the squibs but like you know the blood package or whatever you know that shoot the blood out part of it like shot right on the camera total you know and it literally covers the camera lens in red and i guess that was an accident and aja loved it so much he kept it in which was cool and just like i said the the, the wounds that that alex gets um, the wounds that the killer gets by the end of the movie, his face is fucking mashed and just covered in blood. And it's just a gorehound's dream in this movie. So it's really good. The blood, um, great scenes of tension. It's called high tension for a reason. Um, when Alex is hiding, there's so many scenes where she's hiding and she just gets out in the naked time where she has to be forced to be quiet. And you just see like the killer's feet, like she's hiding under the bed. You see the killer's feet. You watch her, um, you know, like I said, the scene where with the throat slit, where she's peering through the uh, the 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 slits of the uh, the closet, as she's watching the sl throat slit, and then you see like blood spray on it. She's got to be quiet. Um, there's a really good chase scene where she's got the uh, the killer's gun, and she's driving her car, and he's just right behind her, just tapping her. So you know, you know like the back of her car with his his van. So you know that um. You know, he, he's just fucking with her. And she pulls up her gun, and then you just see, it's a great shot, a great shot of his hand sticking out of the window. And he's holding a bullet. Like, she looks in, like, the gun, like, the, the revolver. She opens it up the chamber. She sees it's empty. He's holding out a bullet, drops it, and then he opens up his hand. And he's got the rest of the bullet. And he's dropping them on the road as they're driving. So that's great. Um... That, that chase scene is great. Ends with a spectacular crash. Oh, my God. And then um, there's another scene where she's lost in the cornfield. Or I believe it's a cornfield. And she's looking for... She's looking for the killer. And he's got a flashlight. So she's trying to you know, find out where he is with the flashlight. And she finds it. And he set a trap with the flashlight. Um, really, really good. So Aja does a really good job of creating tension... In high tension, it's just not, he's not just a clever name. Um, there's some really fun scenes too. I really like the scene where we're introduced to Marie and Alex as they're in the very beginning of the movie, driving to their home or Alex's home. And it's just showing like they're, I don't know if they're, they, they met in college or they've been friends from childhood, but it's them kind of arguing over the, um, over the, the music station, you know, on the radio. And then suddenly they find some French pop song. And they just start singing along and having fun. You know, arms out the window, patting the, 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 the roof to the beat of the song. They're both singing. And it just it plays along and it just shows them driving to the house. So it's a really good contrast 
with the movie starting like this with these two characters and then how it changes in the end with like the brutality and everything these two go through um and then we got the twist and uh i won't obviously spoil it because that was the requirement for this um i did not see it coming um i really enjoyed it um it leaves a lot open for interpretation um i just thought of a new me and uh, my wife watched this the other night and this was the first time i'd seen this in a, a long long time and i got a new theory out of it just watching it this time um it sucks that i can't say that in this video but that's what's great about this movie it has a lot of replay value and it's a movie you need to pay attention to because they show a lot of clues um throughout this movie where this twist could possibly happen and where you think okay well if this twat this twist happens then that makes that part of the movie null and void or does it because you have to rewatch it and then it clicks and i remember the last time i watched it before this i'm like okay so that means that didn't happen or that didn't happen how did this happen if that's the twist but then boom this theory that i got after watching this i'm like that makes it very plausible so really really like that effect to it the rewatch value is really good in this i'm trying to see all the little stuff that that, that aja put in um so i highly highly recommend high tension like i said i'm a huge aja fan um all of his movies that i've seen i've really enjoyed haven't seen crawl yet gotta see that i heard that was fun but dude is really good um this was the first movie of his i saw i became a fan since the beginning and i'm still a fan now um great gore great great performance by cecil de france um <laughs> if you <laughs> I already mentioned how great she is. There's a masturbation scene, um, which is just a little ad added bonus. And um, to go from that hot masturbation scene to another masturbation scene that's pretty gross, let's just say there's a masturbation scene with a severed head. We'll leave that at that. So, you know, whatever your thing is, you know, there's, there's a lot of masturbation in this movie. But great performance by Cecil de France. Terrifying performance by Philippe de... Or Philippe Nanon. Nahon, I don't know. The bad guy. Um, my win is just there to be a victim. Great gore, great tension, no pun intended. Great car crash scene. Um, take a shot every time I say great. High tension. Highly recommend it. Um, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Click the bell. All that stuff. Um, got a lot of stuff coming planned in the near future for this channel. I want to thank all my new subscribers. As of this recording, I'm at 771, and I didn't expect that. Um, so thank you guys got some really cool plans for the two bearded losers podcast um, if, if you're a listener or, or a viewer in that playlist um, I'm done with the, uh, the, the the shilling of anything else that I'm doing check out Joe the whore man um, participate in the slashback challenge open to anyone a um, lot of fun um, cheers